Welcome to block 1.2.5, the Sustainable Development Goals and Planet. In this block, we are going to look at the goals that relate to the planet. So we're looking at SDG 6, Clean Water and Sanitation, SDG 12, Responsible Consumption and Production, SDG 13, Climate Action, which I'm sure you're all very familiar with, SDG 14, Life Below Water, and SDG 15, Life on Land. So we'll start by having a look at SDG 6, Clean Water and Sanitation. So the underlying principle here is to ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. So let's have a look at a few of the key statistics in this particular SDG. Um, as you probably know, the world's water-related ecosystems are being degraded at an alarming rate, and this is um, being ex uh, exacerbated by the climate change issues that we've had over the last number of years. Over the last 300 years, over 85% of the planet's wetlands have been lost. For at least 3 billion people, the quality of water they depend on is unknown due to a lack of monitoring. That's something we will have a look at in some of the later modules. Over 733 million people live in countries with high and critical levels of water stress. Only a quarter of reporting countries have greater than 90% of their transboundary trans waters covered by operational arrangements. We'll have a look later on at the definition of what transboundary uh, waters are. At current rates, in 2030, 1.6 billion people will lack safely managed drinking water, 2.8 billion will lack safely managed sanitation, and 1.9 billion will lack basic hand hygiene facilities. These are shocking statistics. So in SDG 6, we have eight targets. Um, so target 6.1, by 2030, achieve universal and equitable access to safe and affordable drinking water for all. Uh, you might like to know that uh, over 2 billion people live in water-stressed countries, and this will get higher with climate change. Globally, at least 2 billion people use drinking water sources contaminated with faeces. The indicator for this, uh, the, the way that they intend to monitor this, is uh, proportion of population using safely managed drinking water services. So as we go through, I will mention the indicators for some of the targets as we go through them. Target 6.2, by 2030, achieve access to adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene for all and end open defecation, paying special attention to the needs of women, girls and those in vulnerable situations. Fortunately, some of these issues aren't very um, relevant in Ireland at the moment, but in more developing countries, these are significant issues. It is predicted by 2030 that only 67% uh, will have safe sanitation services. That means 2.8 billion people will be without, and only 78% will have basic hand washing facilities, which means that uh, 1.9 billion people will, will be without those. The indicator for this target is the proportion of people using A, safely managed sanitation, and B, uh, a hand washing facility with soap and water. So that's the way they're going to measure these going forward. We will be looking later on in the modules and in the blocks that specifically um, address these, uh, these targets at the indicators and uh, exactly how they are monitored and managed. Target 6.3. By 2030, improve water quality by reducing pollution, eliminating dumping and minimizing the release of hazardous chemicals and materials, halving the proportion of untreated wastewater and substantially increasing recycling and safe reuse globally. Some 80% of the world's wastewater is dumped, largely untreated, back into the environment. This pollutes rivers, lakes and oceans. Unsafe water kills more people each year than war and other forms of violence com combined. The targets that they are, the indicators they're using to monitor this target are one, proportion of domestic and industrial wastewater flows safely treated, and two, the proportion of bodies of water with good ambient water quality. Target 6.4. By 2030, substantially increase water use efficiency across all sectors and ensure sustainable withdrawals and supply of fresh water to address water scarcity and substantially reduce the number of people suffering from water scarcity. The indicators for this are the change in water use efficiency over time, 
and the level of water stress, particularly in relation to freshwater withdrawal as a proportion of available freshwater resources. Later on, we will be having a look at uh, some of the statistics in relation to how these how these goals are being progressed uh, globally, and also we will be looking at the national statistics for this as well. Target 6.5. By 2030, implement integrated water, resource, water resources management at all levels, including through transboundary cooperation as appropriate. So I said before we get back to transboundary water definitions, uh, transboundary waters are the aquifers and lakes and river basins shared by two or more countries. The indicators for this particular target will be the degree of integrated water resource management and the proportion of transboundary basin area with an operational arrangement for water cooperation. There are some technical terms in these and we will be going into these in more detail in the individual STG units. Target 6.6. By 2020, protect and restore water-related ecosystems, including mountains, forests, wetlands, rivers, aquifers, and lakes. Water is a vital resource for biodiversity and human survival. Virtually every living creature needs water to survive. Water pollution leads to toxic algae, meaning creatures and plants struggle to survive, which result in increased waterborne diseases, loss of species, and disruption, of course, to the food chain. This target is going to be monitored uh, through the change in the extent of water-related ecosystems uh, monitored over time. Target 6A. By 2030, expand international cooperation and capacity-building support to developing countries in water and sanitation-related activities and programs, including water harvesting, desalination, water efficiency, wastewater treatment, recycling and reuse technologies. You may or may not be familiar with water harvesting, but water harvesting systems are ways to harvest rainwater. That could be either from roofs or footpaths or other solid areas where you can harvest water. Desalination, of course, is to take salt out of seawater. Water efficiency measures, uh, are obviously using technology appropriately and uh, employing appropriate efficiency methodologies when using water. Wastewater treatment, we will be looking at that in a little bit more detail. Recycling and reuse technologies. The indicator for this particular target will be the amount of water and sanitation related official development assistance that is part of a government coordinated spending plan. Target 6B, support and strengthen the participation of local communities in improving water and sanitation management. Now, in Ireland, we actually have a website called catchments.ie, which help people uh, to understand the connection to water and encourage ways for individuals or local communities to get involved in working with this particular target of SDG 6, target 6B. You can look it up, uh, it's catchments.ie. We will be having a look at it in a little bit more detail in the module that deals with SDG 6. The indicator for this particular target are uh, 6 B1 uh, is proportion of local administrative units with established and operational policies and procedures for participation of local communities in water and sanitation management. Uh, it's an administrative uh, indicator that's used here. Overall, billions of people do not have access to clean water. Uh, water pollution worldwide is endangering our survival. Everything relies on water. It's an absolutely essential resource. We must work collectively and internationally to address the challenges outlined in Goal 6.